In this video, we're going to look at fixing the WordPress not sending email issue by connecting WordPress to a Gmail account and using Google as an SMTP service. Hey, I'm Ryan from WP Beginner. If you have a form on your site, like a contact form, then your website will be responsible for sending emails out every time that form is completed. If your website isn't sending emails out, then that can be down to your hosting provider not having the PHP mail function turned on. The best solution for this, and one that we actually recommend even if you don't currently have this issue, is to use the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, or SMTP, as it's the industry standard for sending emails. Now this may all sound very technical and beyond the scope of most WordPress website owners, but it really is not, and that's because in this video, we're gonna break it down and go step by step. First, we will install the WP Mail SMTP plugin and then choose Gmail as our mailer option and follow the process from there. To install the WP Mail SMTP plugin, log into your WordPress dashboard and then head to plugins here on the left. Hover over that and then click on add new. Now we're gonna head over to the search bar over here and put in WP Mail SMTP. Now the search results have come up. This is the plugin we want right here. We're just gonna click on the install now button. And once that's installed, this button will turn into an activate button and you can click on that. Now that the plugin's activated, it's brought you to this setup wizard here. And we're gonna go through this step by step. So click the let's get started button. I'm gonna choose Google or Gmail as our mailer. And click save and continue. You've just got a little note here just to let us know that Gmail is good for sending low numbers of emails. If you wanna send a higher volume of emails, then we might be better off using an SMTP service like SendLayer. So now we're on the configure mailer settings screen and you'll see here that we're asked for a couple of different pieces of information, a client ID and a client secret. So this process and setup may be a little bit more technical than other mailer options in WP Mail SMTP. The good thing is we do have an article linked here which will take you through the exact process that I'm about to show you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a project in Google Cloud that'll allow us to link up WP Mail SMTP via the Google API. So to do that, we're gonna head over to the Google Cloud dashboard and the link to that is in the description below. So this is my dashboard. As you can see, I've got no projects in here. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a project. So we go up to this button here. And what we need to do from here is give the project a name. You can then select your organization and the location for this project. Once you've done that, click the blue create button here. So once you've created projects, this is the screen you're gonna see. Don't worry about a lot of this information. All you need to do is follow the steps that I'm gonna go through and everything should connect up. So what we need to do is enable the Gmail API. And to do that, we need to find it first. So we're gonna come up to the navigation menu up in the top of the screen. We're gonna find the API and services section. Click on that. The next thing we need to do is click on enable APIs and services up here. Now we can search for our Gmail API. So I'm just gonna write Gmail in. This is the Gmail API that we want to enable. So we're gonna click on that. As you can see, it gives you a bit of information about the API and what it lets you do but all we need to do is click on the enable button here. Now that we've enabled the Gmail API, we need to create the credentials for our WP Mail SMTP setup. To do that, we're gonna to head to the create credentials button up here. So now we need to create a credentials, which is the information that WP Mail SMTP needs to finish the setup. We're just gonna check that we've selected the correct API. The next thing it's asking us is what data we'll be accessing. We wanna access user data, then click next. Here it's asking us to fill in this information, so we need to give it an app name. So I'm gonna call it WP Mail SMTP. Then you need to select your user support email address. You can also add in an app logo if you want to, and you need to add in another email address. Once you've added all that information in, click save and continue. Now we need to select what type of application we're running. And we're using a web application. You can choose to change this name if you want, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. The one thing we do need to add in here is an authorized redirect URI, and we can get that from the WP Mail SMTP setup wizard. So we're gonna pop back over to our WordPress dashboard. Here we're back in the setup wizard, and we can see here the authorized redirect URI is right there. You can copy that. Head back to our Google Cloud dashboard. Now back in the Google Cloud dashboard, we can add in the URI we've just copied. Scroll down, and then click the blue create button here. Now that's all done, we can see that we've got our client ID right here and we can click on done. The next thing we need to do is move this from testing to in production. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go over to the OAuth consent screen and under user type, we need to turn it from internal to external. So we're gonna click on that. 
and our publishing status needs to be in production. I'm going to click confirm. Now to get the information we need for the WP Mail SMTP plugin, we're going to go over to credentials. And here we can see what we've just set up. We just need to click on the little edit button up here. And on this screen now you can see you've got your client ID and your client secret which you can just copy and paste over to the WP Mail SMTP setup wizard. Now back in the setup wizard we can see that we've pasted our client ID and client secret into the relevant areas. Scroll down and now we're just going to click on this button here just to connect to Google. So here we just need to choose our Gmail account and then give WP Mail SMTP the relevant permissions to be able to connect this up. Once that's all done, you're going to get this success pop up and you can just click OK. Now we're going to continue with the process. We're going to scroll down. As before, we can choose the from name and the from email is going to be connected to our Google account. You can click save and continue. Now this page is just showing you the features that are enabled in WP Mail SMTP plugin. And we've got the light version at the moment. So we've got the first three features checked on. The other two features can be enabled by getting the paid for or pro version of WP Mail SMTP plugin. I'm going to go save and continue. Skip this step and it's just going to make sure everything's configured. Scroll down to the bottom and click finish setup. And now WP Mail SMTP is going to use Google or Gmail as your SMTP service. I really hope this video helped you fix the WordPress not sending emails issue. If you like this video and are interested in getting more features from an SMTP service, then check this video out where we show you how to connect SendLayer to your WordPress site. Thanks for watching.